All right, Shalom. It's the brother Malak coming back at you with this truth. First and foremost, we want to start off by saying Brachat Day Yahweh, Brachat Day Yahweh Shai, Brachat Day Yahweh, Brachat Day Yahweh Shai, Brachat Day Yahweh, Brachat Day Yahweh Shai. Call Haloyim La Abanawa Yahweh, Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem Arukah Kodesh. And double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Ruel. Peace and blessings and salutation to the whole flow elect, the Bayath, Dawada, the House of David. And this is just a an exhortation video. All right. As, uh, we must trust in the Spirit, for the Spirit is our God. All right, that's going to be the title of the video. It says, uh, for we must trust in the Spirit, for the Spirit is our God. Right, and what inspired me to do this video was I was reading uh, 1 Corinthians, the second chapter, and the first verse all the way down. It's a very uh, good chapter when you definitely uh, dive into it. You know, I've read this chapter numerous times and, and numerous times. And uh, today the Spirit was on me just to just go into this chapter again. And uh, I want to read it. And then I got a few other more scriptures and then, you know, we're going to get out of here, brothers. But uh, let's let's just read this here. This is uh, 1 Corinthians, the first, uh, 1 Corinthians, the second chapter and the first verse. It says, And I, brethren, when I come to you, came not with excellency of speech or wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. For I determined not to know anything among you, save Yahweh Shai, the Amashiach, and him, and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness, and in fear, and in much trembling. And in my speech, and in my preaching, was not the enticing words of man's wisdom, but in the demonstration of the Spirit, and the power, right? And that's where we come in. When you teach, you come in the spirit and the power of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. You don't come in man's wisdom. You come in the wisdom and the knowledge of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. All right? Out of these scriptures, out of this Bible, you know? Because we're not speaking of our own lives when we're out there on the streets. You know, the inspiration and the spirit that is in a man comes from Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. You know, so let's read on even further. Verse 5, it says that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, right? See, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of the Most High, the power of Yahweh, Vashem Yahweh Shai. Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of the world, of this world, right? Because the wisdom of this world is, is completely uh, nothing. There's no wisdom that can stand up. There's no wisdom in this world that can stand up against the wisdom of Yahweh, Vashem Yahweh Shai. The Lord... Heavenly Father knows all things, and His Son knows all things. There's nothing that can stand up against Him. All right, and we understand that. See, as us as us men teaching this truth, we understand that nothing in this world can can stand up against the Heavenly Father and His Son. Nothing. All right, the wisdom of this world is weak compared to the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, which is absolutely strong. All right. Verse 7, Salakia, uh, verse 6, it says, Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor the princes of this world that come to naught. Right, they come to nothing. It says, But we speak the wisdom of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Shai, in a mystery. Right, in a mystery, and that's why people can't get it. That's why people can't get what we speaking out there on them highways and byways. It's a mystery to them. And they say, you know, the scriptures say the secrets. All right, let me go to it real quick. Let me go to it real quick. Where is it? Amos. Amos 3 and 7. It says, surely the Lord will do nothing. Will do nothing but revealeth his secret. Unto his servants, the prophets, right? And everything that we're speaking about is a secret. All right, it's a secret, but we're making it manifest to the um, to the elect. All right, because the elect are the only ones that are going to get this secret. Two-thirds of our people are going to be destroyed. The other nations are going to be destroyed. The elites are going to be, uh, they're going to go into slavery, the top banking families. All right, they will be delivered up into slavery. All right, we will go get them, shackle them up, and they will be put into slavery. All right? That's why this that's why this thing is so scary to these leprous dogs. This Bible that we hold is a scary book. Scary, man. Because what it comes with is power and truth. 
and the spirit that's inside of the book is very, very powerful. All right? And it matches with the spirits of those prophets that understand this book. Why? Because the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is dealing with those prophets that understand this book. Not everybody can pick up the Bible and read, read it and understand it. That's why the spirit has to be dealing with you, man. And the spirit is very powerful. You see? The angels are the angels uh, bring and give you understanding of the spirit of this book, man. And through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahshai, with Yahweh Shai supping with you. Matter of fact, let's go to that real quick. Let's 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 go to that. With Yahweh Shai supping with you. Find it real quick. Uh, I think it may be. Oh, yeah, here it is, right here. This is, uh, I'll start at verse, I'll start at verse 18. I'll start at verse 18. All right, this is Revelation 3 and 18. It says, I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, right? See, gold tried in the fire. All right, that thou mayest be rich in white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that, thou, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and, and anoint thine eyes with eye salve, that thou mayest see, right? That thou mayest see. And us brothers, we see, man, clearly, you know, clearly about what's going on, clearly about the things going on in this society, clearly about the second coming of Yahweh Shai, all right? Now, we don't know the time or dates or anything of that nature. That's only up to the Heavenly Father. But we know the signs and the times and the wonders of things going on that we know that His time is near. And His time is to come, you know. Like the scriptures say, the just one, the just one is who? Yahweh Shai. All right, it says 19, verse 19, it says, As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. And that's what you got to do. You got to repent. All right. He says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Right, see, behold, I stand at the door and knock. All right, what is the door? Your mind. All right, if any man hear my voice, right, you got you to gotta hear the voice, man. And open the door, I will come into him, right. And I will sup with him, and he with me. To him that overcome will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I have overcome, also overcome, and I am set down with my father in his throne. Right, because the Lord went and sat on the right hand of the Father, the Heavenly Father. It says, he that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. See what the Spirit saith unto the churches, alright? Alright, so let's go back to 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians, the second chapter. Alright, yeah, this is, like I said, brothers, this is a bad chapter, man. When you when you really sit and read it, and you discern it, you understand what this chapter is really speaking about. You know? I'm on verse, uh, I'm on verse 7 now. It says, but we speak the wisdom of the Most High in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom, even the hidden wisdom, which a lot of people can't get, which the Most High ordained before the world, uh, world unto our glory, which none of the princes of this of this world knew, for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord, uh, Lord of Glory. Right? See, they would they wouldn't have crucified the Lord of Glory. They would have understood that, but they didn't. You see, the Pharise the the the, the uh, high priests, the Pharisees, they ain't understand it, man. All right, even though it was all prophesied for it to happen, all right, it was prophecy that it was going to happen. <clears throat> it says, but the Most High revealed uh, revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yet the deep things of the Most High. See, for the Spirit, all right, that's why Yahweh Shai said to them, he said, when I've gone, you know, the Spirit comes to them, then you shall understand all right, hold on. Let me find that scripture. That's in the book of uh, 
in the book of, I think it's Luke or John. I think it might be one of them. I think it could be, uh, I don't want to find it. I think it's in Luke. book of Luke, 24th chapter, let's go there, yeah, this is what he has said to the disciples, right, well, hold on, first, let me get, let me get John real quick, let me get John, So you know what, let me, yeah, let me get Luke real quick. Yep, here it is right here. This is John 7 and 38. It says, He that believeth on me, as the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Right, meaning knowledge. All right, out of his belly, which meaning his mind, shall flow rivers of living water. All right. Okay. So let's go back to that Luke 24 real quick. Luke 24. Luke 24, and uh, we'll start at, uh, we'll start at 44, alright, 44, it says, and he said unto them, these are the words which I spake unto you while I was with, uh, while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the laws of Moses, and in the prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me, concerning Yahweh Shai, all things that must, must happen. Right, it says, then open he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. And he said unto them, This thus it is written, and thus it behoved the Hamashiach to suffer and rise from the dead the third day. And this went all over the disciples' heads at the time when he was telling them. Right? And it says, And the repentance and the remission of sin shall be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. All right, or Yashalem. It says, and ye were witnesses of these things, and behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry yet in the city of Jerusalem until you be endured with the power from on high. All right. It says, and the Holy Spirit. It says, and he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifted up his hands and blessed them. All right. And it says, and it came to pass while he blessed them, he was parted. He was parted from them. And carried up into heaven, right? Because he went up into heaven in a chariot. I'll tell you that in the book of Acts, right? And it says, and they worship him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and were continually in the temple praising and blessing the Most High, Amana Tawab. All right, so there we have it. So let's go back to um, First Corinthians, the second chapter. All right, First Corinthians, the second chapter, and. Uh, the 8th and ninth verse it says but as it is written I have not seen nor the ear have heard neither have it entered into the heart of men right the mind of men the things which the most high have prepared for them that love him but the most high have revealed uh, revealed them unto us by his spirit for the spirit searcheth all things yet the deep things of the most high for what man knoweth the things of men of a man Save that the spirit of man which is in him, even so the things of the of the Most High Yahweh knoweth no man but the spirit of the Most High. And it says, "Now we have received not the spirit of the world, all right, but the spirit which is of the Most High." Right, and that's and that's what the brothers did, and that's what brothers. That's why brothers are are um, 
teaching these exhortation lessons and going into deep things that only they would under that only we understand because why the spirit is upon us to understand them. Why everybody else, two thirds of our people, and the rest of these other nations really can't understand what we're speaking about because it's a mystery to them. We have the codes, all right. That's like when you go and you put, all right, uh, money inside of a safe, and you're the only one who understands the code. You're the only one who can go in and, and, and break the code because you have the spirit upon you, right? You see, why everybody else they don't they don't understand. They can't get it. Okay, it says which things are which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth. Right? See, not in the words of which man's wisdom teacheth, but which uh, with which the Holy Spirit teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual, right? And that's what we do. We always compare spiritual things with spiritual. Never carnal things with spiritual things because they don't mix. That's like oil and vinegar. It don't mix. You see? But the spirit, the spiritual things go with spiritual things. Carnal things stay amongst carnal things. All right? But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the Most High. See, the natural man, he ain't going to receive it. But the one who's in the spirit will receive it. It says, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Right? See, they are spiritually discerned. But he that that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. For who know, for who have known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him, but we have the mind of the Hamashiach. Right? But we have the mind of the Hamashiach, the one set mind of righteousness. Alright? You know? So let's go to, let's put in this word here, spirit. We'll get a few scriptures out of here. I ran into a few scriptures here. Let's put this up here. All right. Let's go down to a few of them. I'm only going to read a few, brothers, you know, just so you understand, you know, because basically the point is about me. But, uh. I just want to go into the book of Job. Job is a very good book. All right. Let's see. I have a few ones I want to read. All right. All right, here it is right here, Job 27 and 3, it says, All the while my breath is in me, and the spirit of the Most High is in my nostrils. All right, verse Job 32 and 8, this is a, a good scripture. This is a very good scripture, I love this, this is one of my favorite scriptures, it says, But there is a spirit in a man, and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. There you, <laughs> there you have it. Okay, there you have it. All right, see right here. Let's see. Alright, let's see. Alright, right here. Psalms 32 and 2. It says, Blessed is a man that whom the Lord imputeth and putteth not iniquity, in whose spirit there is no guile. Right, whose spirit there is no guile. And the word guile right there meaning deceit. All right, and that's what the prophets come with. All right, we come with uh, no deceit but exhortation. All right, and you know, of the spirit and power of Yah, All right, you see. All right, so let's see. Let's see if I have another one. There's a lot. There's a lot. Like I said, I only wanted to read a few. I think I 
I got one more. Let me see. I'm trying to find it. Oh, here it is right here. Proverbs 20 and 27 says, The spirit of a man is the candle of the Lord, searching all the inward parts of the belly. <laughs> that's, a, that's a very good, that's a bad scripture, man. <laughs> that's a bad scripture, all right? You know, so, you know, right there, I'm going to end it, you know. I'm going to end it right there. I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Arakal Kodash. And double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. Peace and blessings and salutation to the whole for the elect. The Bayath, Dawadah, the house of David. Shalom, brothers, stay strong, kings. And uh, we are most out of this place, man. Shalom.